origami. We have a pop-up origami center that's got paper and it's got books. And in the book section, there are lots of these pamphlets that have all sorts of basic information. The first few pages will show you things about how to read the symbols and which different folds there are, how to turn things inside out, and how to make some origami bases that is the starting part for more complicated figures. So we've included a fish, a cup, a swan, a boat, a jumping frog, a fortune teller, a fox puppet, a box, another cat puppet, and then these are some of the bases that will help you make something like a flapping bird. When you're working with origami, it's best to work on a flat surface. When you make your folds, you're expected to line up your corners and your edges unless the instructions tell you otherwise. As you gain experience, origami can be very relaxing. While you're learning, there are lots of directions to follow and sometimes you can get a little confused and feel, well, kind of frustrated with not being able to understand what's going on. My advice is to fold up what you have, put it in an envelope, write your name and your class code on the envelope so that you can put it in your table folder and save it for another time when you're willing to have a fresh start. Remember, ask three and then me. You may find someone in the class is great at origami and is happy to help you finish. Just don't let this happen to you. You start it, you're not quite sure what to do, you get frustrated with it, and then, uh. One way to get better is to make 10 figures for an origami certificate. That labels you as an expert and gives you lots of practice. One fold that's different is the fortune teller. I have a few rules about the fortune teller. You can only make two of them for the whole term because you need to stretch and explore, like learning how to make a jumping frog or a boat or a bird that flaps. How about a finger puppet? There could be any animal you want. This cup even allows you to drink water out of it. You can make a box, as I showed you before. There's a whale. There's even a fox puppet that you can put your fingers in. So don't get stuck on a fortune teller. Here's the origami specialist certificate. Looks pretty cool. What paper do I use if I just want to try it? the orange labeled box with scrap paper in it. If you're working on the certificate models, you may use the origami practice paper. Earning your certificate allows you to use the colored paper for final folds. I hope that you have fun.